There's a look at the highlights of the big home victory against Eastern Washington. And coach, that, that ranks up as one of the biggest wins for, I know, you and especially for this young team with that schedule that you're facing here in the early going of this season. Well, that's why it was such a big win at the time because, well, what this team is, the timing of it, coming off the Iowa State game and the youth of the offense and the production of the offense in this particular game. You take a look at what Eastern Washington put up against Oregon, what they did last year, the number one team in football uh, in offense. How impressed were you with the defense and how are they able to slow and limit them on, on a number of plays throughout the game? Well, when we went in 21-14 at the half, I thought we were doing a great job on defense because we had, we had taken a lot of blows, they had good field position, and we were making plays. So second half, we gave up some explosive plays to them and, where they got some yardage against us. But again, I think the intercept for a touchdown was really what, what kicked it over the top. The Andre Hall, MVFC uh, Defensive Player of the Week. How incredible the fact that he has an injury, pretty much playing with one arm and he's still as effective as he was prior to the injury. He was, he was, he was, he was excited for that football game. He knew the challenge that was ahead of him, the players that were on the field and, and he stepped up to it when he broke that uh, hand, you know, to go in and get it cast up and come back up and continue to play at the level he did was, uh, was very, very phenomenal actually. <laughs> Bailey, your leading rusher there in the first half and he's so versatile and what do you like about him back there? Well, what's great about Bailey is is, is that he's got a way out of the pocket. He, whether he throws it or he runs it, he's got a way out every time. And uh, if he, he can continue to grow, and that was the purpose of playing him and starting him again, is give him a chance to mature in this offense. Let's let's make sure he's got the time to develop in it. And then the the when Cole Morgan came in, yeah, I believe it was it was Cole Morgan's best appearance as a UNI quarterback really? because he came in and he commanded the offense. And that's what's separating him from other years that I've seen. He really went out there and took control of the game. And that's what you hope your quarterback will do. How, how much do you love that next man in mentality and the fact that you're deep at that position, you got two options? Well, we're, we're, you know, with those two, the way it turned out, it turned out that we do have two quality people there, but I go to, I go to Sawyer because, you know, being that guy and coming in isn't the easiest thing to do. And you really have to kind of bite your lip a little bit. And he did, and he went out there for the team. And that's why I was so pleased with how he interacted with our team, how he came out of the field and commanded our offense. And it just gave us strength to a football team. What did you learn about your team here in week two? I think what I learned about them is, is their resilience. You know, you didn't know what was going to happen after that first game. And, you know, it was a tough week. There's no question because we had so many things to learn from in the first football game and how then we were going to apply that the next week. And our special teams was better, our offense was better, and the defense continued to grow. Games are won and lost in the fourth quarter. You like the fact that you guys knew how to close and pick up the victory? Again, closed against a good football team. So you always look at the quality opponent that you did it against. and. We did, we, felt, we fell behind, we got ahead, and, and then uh, you know, had a chance to get back on the field with our offense, and they closed the game out. We'll talk about how the Panthers hopefully can use that momentum going into next week's game against a very good uh, nationally ranked Cal Poly team. That and more here on Panther Sports Talk.